what it is, Cody Fan 54 here. Today we're gonna be taking a look at the King Kong vs. Godzilla 1962 Neck Up Review. Okay, you guys have been requesting a million or probably a zillion times. Where is the King Kong vs. Godzilla review? Yes, I the reason why I haven't been doing it a lot is because of the fact that I have been doing so much ideas for those of my buddies and new tour reviews. So without further ado, for a long time get into it. So let's just go on with articulation. Let's just go from head to tail. Okay, so we're gonna go on with the mouth. So the mouth is a hinged one and when I when I was delaying the video I actually realized you could go all the way up like this. I don't know if it's just my figure but I could just do that. So to close it, open close, hinged one here, ball drawing on the head here uh, can separate it I believe. <laughs> like oh my god. I don't know if it's just my figure or just the parts keep pulling it up easily. But there's a ball joint here, a ball joint of the head here. And is it just me or these parts just, just don't want to stick on clearly? Let's just go on to the next part. Ball joint here at the shoulder, I think. Uh, hinge joint, which is almost impossible to move. Hinge joint here, hinge joint mouth, and the hands here, and I think Neck is the only one that does this. Ball joint, the shoulder here, also a possible hinge joint. Hinge joint here, and the hinge joint here, so it looks like he's holding on to something. Um, ball joint here, I would say. A hinge joint that's also impossible to move. And a ball joint at the foot. This is a ball joint. And the opening here, that's a ball joint. I know it's a ball joint because it's going to be 360. Ball joint here, also impossible joint, but you can barely push it. Ball joint as well, not the terrible spread. You can't even move it. You can't even move its tail. And we're going to go on to the part where it clearly plagues me the most about this figure. Ball joint. There is one, two, three, four, five. There's five ball joints here, but the problem is one. It's, uh, it doesn't feel like the King Kong uh, versus Godzilla spikes. Two, um, uh, is it just my figure or the tail falls off easily? But let's just be real. The tail actually came out of the box and detached, so you could just take off one part and the other part, like all three joints. But the, but the thing is, it's Easy to snap it on, snap on here, snap on here, and I'm gonna have to do this for a while. I'm gonna have to put it in warm water, I think, or possibly not. Uh, I'll just put it on right now. And uh, you might not see me off for off screen for a while. I'm just gonna turn off the camera. So I just fixed the tail right here. It's actually not hard. You don't need warm water for it. But the problem with these figures is that the ball joints here are just loose. I don't know if you can see it here, but it's completely loose. The point where you can actually see the, the ball joint right there. You can see the ball joint right there. There's another ball joint you can see right there, and you could not, you can still see it from over there as well. That is just weird. Also, this is drawing color here, because you can see it as well. This one, I don't know if you can see it. You can't, yeah, you can't see that one. But let's just compare the um the freedom, the free articulation of this figure, the tail articulation, compared to my other figures. Okay guys, so here's the 1956 Authentic Coastal version. As you can see, this one moves more freely than the than the NECA 1956 or 54. Because it only has four segments. You can only you can only just pop it off like this and there's nothing else here. Although it's a, it, I would say this one has less freedom because of the fact that it's just a wire tip. And I'm just gonna snap that on right now. Okay, so I just fixed the tail here. It's more like a wiry joint rather than like a bunch of segments here. Well, let's compare it to another one of my oldest figures. This is my second oldest. 2014 NECA figure, which is terrible with the leg movement because literally one push, yeah, like that. It's like if this thing is my figure here. This is my first NECA figure, and it's like literally, like, like literally just a loose bit. 
movie. Okay, movie. let's compare the movie. Just like the 1956 one. One, uh, it's like the King Goji where it's kind of loose. But it's actually almost zero articulation here. This one also has four joints, which is very strange. One, two, three, and then this is just four. If it was like a lot, like the 24 inch figure, it would have been master at articulation. But unfortunately, no! It's like this. Okay, so. Uh, oh my god, this thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not really hard to pop on this one. But let's compare it to another figure, which is the Godzilla vs. Violante action figure. Uh, so this one I would say is more free than the 1962 one, than this one. One, it has more joints and it's way more secure. Like, look at this. You can literally hear it. You can hear the joints. Like, listen to this. Even when you just, the tip is just, it's so weird when you, especially this one. Like, I'm just moving it around everywhere and you can still hear the weird crinkling noise. Which is so weird, it's just a crinkling. Oh my god! Ah! Back down to the, what I was saying before. It's really crinkly, as you can hear here. You can hear it. You can literally hear crinkling noises. Um, sorry for that um, blooper thing. I accidentally dropped my phone. It's because of the fact that my, my camera it isn't as secure as usual, so it's literally just swimming out all the time. I don't have like a piece, there's a piece there that fell off for some reason, but let's just get it back on here. It's a crinkle, it's like crinkly. It's like, it's crispy, it's like, it's very, very crispy. Um, it's, it's um, it's a uh, very, very crispy. But you do have articulation on the head, just like the 62 figure. These have the same joints, literally, just the exact same joints. But we're not here to talk about this figure. Although, this one's way more secure, and it looks very, very weird when you move the head. Also, we have the boots here. And, and, and let's take a look at how far the King Goji figure can go. Okay, so let's go up all the way from here all the way to here. So, not too bad for NECA for a figure. It won't go up really far. It's kind of terrible to the NECA 1989 figure, the action figure, the 1989 figure, because it can go up crazy up. Like, it can go up like crazy. Like, it almost is out of the screen. It's just that hyper. It's like that up. It's like that secure. I know I'm like forcing it a little bit, but I'm not breaking it, but thankfully. It looks like this, and yeah, comic book looks like this. It's really long, it's longer than my mom's ever Um, longer than this one as well. You could you could have only done like this, actually. I've actually done it before. And it doesn't look good. Okay, let's go on to the atomic blast part. The part where everyone has been like asking, why does it look different than the one I have right now? Than the one I had in the inbox. Well, we actually, I couldn't find the atomic red parts. Uh, atomic red parts, so the only one I can use is one part of the authentic figure. This one, it's real weird. So, let's get back onto it. So, like all NECA figures, or some of them, they have a weird smiley face look. Looks like a smiley face right here. And there's also a hole in its mouth, and then it looks like a frog. Um, um, so we're going to have to stick it in that hole, and it matches perfectly with the eyes. It looks like Shin Godzilla is firing it. In fact, let's compare it to Shin Godzilla. Shin Goji, uh, he uh, kind of went through 
literally a literal meltdown. Ooh. He literally looks like muscle. He's literally all muscle. Like, I'm gonna twist the head here. I don't want to break it. But I can't even move the head. I can't even move the head. Come on, Neca. What's the point of even doing this? And also, the tip tail is even longer than the King Goji. You know why? Because it's rubber, and rubber means. Oh my God. Well, I would just say this figure is actually pretty low standards, but it's pretty expensive as well. You got for other YouTubers who are actually big, not me, but they they think 20 bucks is really cheap. For us, it's really expensive. So you can not move the head up, which is really weird, but if you force it, you can, and you're gonna break up the head. But you do get articulation in the, 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 the hands, thankfully. Uh, it really, the freedom on the tail is not as good, actually. Look at this. This. Let's compare it to King Goji. Okay, let's see the King Kong figure. Oh wow, it's way more free. Look at that. It's literally just straight. Shin Goji's is just straight. Although I'm just gonna pop that back on. Okay, so we have all the figures online. Now let's get on to the. the King Kong. Oh, hold on. The conclusion. Okay, overall, I think this figure is really good. I recommend you guys to get it. But the problem is, I think for you guys or just mine, I just might have bad luck. The joints might not be good. But if it's brand new to you guys, go pick it up in Newberry Comics. Well, I don't even know if it's Newberry Comics. Go check online. Go look at your, new, like your local comic book stores. And you're going to find it near you. Okay, guys, see you guys next time. We're going to be doing a great Desk Escape video next on the channel. See you guys next time. Bye. And peace. Oh, by the way, um, the reason why this video will get uploaded a little later is because of the fact that it's going to take me a while to edit it.